Lovely. Thank you, Rob. Um, I, I've I've got just a few a few slides to to show you, and uh, it's quite a disparate uh, range, which is good because uh, there are a lot of brilliant examples out there, and a little bit of a uh, you know um, uh, positive uh, story yeah. to uh, to some of the, some of the uh, points being being made about the, the the challenges that that retail uh faces in reaching out to an aging population um so excuse the uh the, the quite disparate nature of these but um i just found these individually uh these case studies so it's so interesting um and uh if we can uh, kick off with the <coughs> first uh first slide that'd be great uh, so in about uh 20, 2010 uh, kaiser supermarkets in germany uh unlike any other store i've read about really went for it in terms of looking after their aging um customer uh, and they saw a commercial opportunity and what i found particularly interesting was that they said it wasn't a noble experiment in social welfare it was a business calculation so they they picked up on that commercial uh, commercial case for appealing directly and uh, after the relaunch of the supermarket uh, revenue went up by 30 uh, percent and the the list of adaptations that they made uh, is is still quite staggering they they put seats they felt it necessary to put seats into trolleys as well as making a central bank of seating within a supermarket which is which is in itself fascinating because the seating's normally if there is seating it's normally after the till point but uh, what they did was they put seating in the middle of the uh, of the supermarket and around it so that there were points at which to to just rest for a moment um also a very simple um idea but uh magnifying glasses attached to shelf shelving and trolleys as well um so a, a fascinating um market uh led uh, initiative so they brought this to market it was very successful for them and um uh, i i haven't read about anybody that's that's done that sort of kind of revolutionary redesign of uh, of a supermarket since um they were taken the, the the brand was taken over in 2015 and uh the the new owners didn't take this forward, which is an interesting um, situation in itself. Uh, so I, I'd, I would love to look at that, but certainly the um, the board that were running Kaiser supermarkets at the time uh, really found the the inspiration and initiative to to appeal to this uh, demographic that we're talking about. Could I have the next slide, please? Thank you. Uh, uh, similarly, um, Aeon Kasai in Tokyo, uh, which this this the fourth floor of this uh, department store is still there. So this is a singular um, department store. It hasn't been uh, rolled out as 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 yet, um, but uh, they they transformed the fourth floor of their um, uh, department store and. They opened earlier uh, so that customers to this particular floor could come and shop. They could attend classes. Um, uh, there were sports machines. It's really multifunctional um, as well as a, a destination for, for retail too. Um, and there were homewares and uh, there are homewares and uh, clothes department as well. And I would I would really love to go and see this this in action, but it's a, a really interesting example. Um, I think what's particularly interesting about this is that they didn't choose to integrate 
uh, all this into the main department's door. They kept it to one floor, uh, especially for the for, for that consumer. So, and I think this is along some of the themes that we've been talking about. Do you um, create a, a completely inclusive uh, retail range or do you segment this into a particular area and a particular destination um, so so I think this is a good example of it all being in one place especially for this for this customer and the next slide please uh, and this this was a, a it's a community shop in mid Wales out of necessity for the for the community uh, uh, a shop was set up in a disused petrol station. And um, until then, I mean, you know, we've been talking about the 15 minute place, uh, getting to all you need within 15 minutes. Um, that village up until then required an 18 mile bus trip to get to near a supermarket. So all your frozen stuff would have completely defrosted by the time you got home. Uh, so it took one one initiative in a community framework, and um, they've just grown and grown. I think they've got something like 40, 40 volunteers. They have a mixture of, of volunteers and, and a few paid members of staff. And I don't know if you can read it, but the, the caption on the end uh, about if you do require grocery deliver, deliveries to be made, uh, they've said they'll be as flexible as they can. And if one of us has to drop it off on the way home, that's fine too. So really doing so much more than just being a shop uh, again. Uh, so I, I love the fact that they've extended the, the, the remit of the shop. So, uh, so there are, um, the, there's a meetup, there are classes, they've got knit and natter, um, at, you know, and whatever the community needs, um, and it's obviously extremely well received. So, um, uh, delighted to be putting this example uh, uh, up in the trailblazers. Have the next slide, please. And jumping from physical shops to websites, um, I've I was really struck by the South Bank Centre's website. Um, and thought that uh, it was a great example, you know, and please do uh, go and take a look at this, uh, about if you are going to an event at the South Bank Centre, you have got everything at your fingertips to understand how you can make that visit. Um, there are downloadable maps. Um, you can track kind of step-free access from the tube, so way outside the centre itself. Um, there's all sorts of um, helpful uh, uh, in information about um, wheelchair positions, booking those, assisted events. You can, you can uh, get a, a member of staff to come and meet you. Um, they, I, I love the fact that they want, they welcome everybody and they want their site to be available to to all. Uh, so I think what this says is, you know, we're not, we're not just welcoming older people, we're welcoming um, everybody uh, to, to our events there. So, so that's, I think that's a, a fantastic um, website to look at. Um, it's also, uh, it follows all the rules and regulations about uh, being dyslexia inclusive to and there's a, a lot of different uh, ways you can change the website to suit um, uh, suit your needs. Um, uh, you can uh, it make the make the font larger, to, you know, to fourteen point. Um, so so lots of lots of uh, great illustrations there about uh, a good practice. Yeah, have the next one, please. And I came across uh, this an article about uh, this, this policy booklet, um, this program, which was launched a long time ago in 1988, um, when Finland was facing their worst economic crisis in, in their history. 
and they had two factors significant aging population and shortage of labor exactly what we are we are facing at the moment um, so for, for this to be uh, put together such a long time ago uh, I, I think is is really you know it does fit into this trailblazers and um, we were just talking when we you know came back on uh, after lunch about about encouraging an aging workforce uh, to remain there and valuing uh, experience and skills and keeping that in the workplace um, so so I think that you know this is a this is a really a good example of a, a, another country taking um, taking the economic and aging population seriously and doing something about it. And the next slide, please. And uh, finally, um, uh, another event venue. So this is Lord's Cricket Ground. Um, and I was really struck by uh, how the, the care uh, that was exhibited by Lords, uh, especially for uh, people uh, living with dementia and their, their caring partners. Um, if, you, if you need it uh, and request it, you get a, a, a pack um, which you can, uh, you can carry with you. It's got a really simple map. Um, it's got a holder for tickets. Uh, it's, it's been um, done in partnership with um, dementia friendly organizations. Um, and they've also looked at, you know, not only um, pe pe people living with dementia, but they've looked at accessible toilets. They have changing places toilets. Um, and uh, for partially sighted people as well, there's information about about dogs and when they can go to the toilet. And, you know, it's just incredible, all encompassing, looking at making sure that their venue is, is accessible to all. Um, and then you, you hit so many different, different groups. Uh, so um, so I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to uh, show those, those short uh, trailblazers um, and, you know, I think the thread amongst all of them is they all got to market um, uh, and, you know, they're, they're evidence based um, examples of, uh, of, of looking more closely and looking after an aging population. Wow.